Hey everyone, Techni here with the review of the Durgod K3 20 10 keyless gaming keyboard. And I know what some of you are thinking out there if you've been here for a while. Hey man, didn't you already review this keyboard? And yes, I actually did, but it was a K320 Taurus right here. As you can see, I got some custom keycaps on it right now. Ah, looking really good. But the one we're going to talk about today is the K320 Taurus Nebula, the RGB version. A couple different features and designs within it, but we're also going to do to mix it up here is we're going to talk about the HK Gaming Double Shot PBT put in keycaps right right here. We'll install them, get a sound test with them, and see how they look with the RGB as well. So as in your box, you get a lot of the same accessories you've seen other Dirt Guide keyboards. You get your dust cover here, you get your keyboard, you get your USB-C to C, and then the A to C. Again, as I say with all the other Dirt Guide keyboards, my uh, thought here is that the C to C is for Mac, again, because it's shorter, and bam, you can plug it right into your Mac right there. So it's nice that they give you the two cables right there. Again, the C to C is a lot shorter than the A to C. You get your manual over here, which you really don't need because all the shortcuts are on the keyboard, which we'll talk about about later you get a sticker a cable tie and then a wired keycap puller all right so first off let's go ahead and talk about the build right here and let me tell you what straight out the box i mean you feel like you have a very quality product in your hands a nice bit of weight to it it is all plastic but it's heavy duty plastic no flex or anything and that also goes for the underside of the keyboard here number one you have a really nice cable router right back there you can route it to the middle left or right right there and it stays in place very nice and well and your usb cable that goes in there actually as you can see you have little notches and then the cable just slides right into there really really cool because again you get no budge and it really locks into place you also have plenty of grip with on this keyboard here three nice chunky feet on the front two on the back and then two levels of incline with the two feet right here lay them flat and you have a really nice stock uh, ergonomic incline which is how i leave it and again it just feels perfect like that but really nice to have the options now one of my favorite things about this keyboard right here is the simplicity of it. It's so easy to use. All your shortcuts are printed, bam, right on the keycaps right there, and you can control everything right on the board. As far as your RGB, so many stock effects right on it right here, and you can customize, again, every single effect on the board without any software needed. As far as you got a, so a effect rolling, bam, hit your palette right there and set it to your custom color across any of the effects, and then you can cycle your color with the color palette right there. Really cool to have those options to customize, again, your RGB be right on the keyboard. But if you want to dive even deeper, you can dive into the Durgod Zoo software right there. And the software is very easy to use, very, very simple. And again, I like how they give you a spitting image of your keyboard on the screen compared to what you're customizing right there. Now, one stinker, just my personal opinion, uh, you all know I review a lot of Durgod and HK Gaming boards and keyboards and stuff like that. I really don't like how some of the keyboards use the Zeus and some of them use the Harry right there. I wish they can just put them all together and use one software. But again, as far as the Zeus software, software it is very simple to use and another thing i really like about it here is cheesy as this sounds but i love this in all of my keyboards that's how you see we have the little indicators right there as far as our cap locks our, our game mode scroll lock and stuff like that or if we got our macros on and they're underneath our shortcuts right there right a lot of boards we see them being on the top lip of the keyboard which is nice to still have them there but i love when my indicators are right down there because i'm working bam and they're right there and they're not hidden behind the keys Again, probably cheesy, but something I love in my boards. So now as far as your keycaps right here, they are double shot PBT shine through. And let me tell you what, these are some solid keycaps. I mean, you can't flex them. Really, really nice stock keycaps. Your stabilizer are actually lubed across this keyboard here, and they're pretty stinking solid. Not much movement at all, and they sound really, really crisp. So talking about that sound right there, we're gonna go ahead and dive into the sound test. I am using Cherry MX Silence here, and then after I do the bass sound test with the stock keycaps, we will go ahead and slap on a new HK game and put in keycaps and do a sound test there as well. I'll be right back with you.
All right, so as far as that sound test right there, I mean, it sounds crisp and very solid right there. If you all remember my review of the K320 Taurus right there, there was a slight bell ring in there. And I was using Cherry MX Reds right there, non-RGB. So the keycap had a little hole in the top right there. Now, again, with these being RGB, so the whole keycap's closed and everything. But again, I'm using Cherry MX Silence because that, that could be eliminating a lot of the sound right there. But again, just a very nice, solid, crisp sound on the Nebula here. And now talking the HK Gaming keycaps we went ahead and slapped on here. Wow, they really brought out the RGB as you saw. I didn't change my function or my shortcuts and arrows over there just because again the shortcuts are printed on those up there for your RGB and your media controls and all of that. Now of course you do have plenty of keys in here to change the entire board out, a full size board, even a European layout within this set. And now as far as the build of the pudding keycaps here, they're fairly solid, much thicker than some of the other pudding keycaps I have tested and they're actually even cheaper. For this whole set they're 17 bucks but as far as the sound it didn't really change it much at, at all and also on the pudding keycaps you kind of get that gamer font where kind of, you kind of get that line cut through some of them, especially up here on the numbers, just to help that RGB shine through. Now, one thing on the pudding keycaps that kind of throws me off here, on the back of, I wouldn't say all the keys, but at least 75% of the keys right here, you kind of have a little nub from where they popped them out of the mold, I guess, or something like that. Hey, look at this. I forgot to change my R at right there. I just noticed. Are you ever going to look behind and see behind your keycaps? No, but again, it's kind of a stinker that it's there. There we go. There's that R. All right, so I know the number one question that's probably on your mind. Hey, man, should I just buy the Taurus or should should I spend the extra money to get the Nebula? By the way, my Taurus right down here, these are custom keycaps. I don't know what it is. It's probably like a mix of three different sets right here. So uh, again, these keycaps do not come stock on it. But anyways, between the two right here, again, they're pretty much the exact spit and keyboard. You can get the Taurus over here in the black with the black and the gray keycaps, I believe it is. And this guy's only a hundred bucks. So if you're willing to pay that extra money for the RGB, hey, you have the option right here. But again, as far as both of them, fantastic, great great 10 keyless keyboards at 100 bucks is an absolute bargain again as far as paying the extra for the rgb it's got to be personal preference are you willing to hawk out that extra money for the rgb version but hey thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the durgod k320 nebula little pinch of the taurus little pinch of some keycaps here i hope i answered any of your questions and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos hey i hope i catch you in the next one bye now